Jeffrey from West Dennis, Massachusetts, has a question about a GFCI. He's out on Cape Cod. Probably. And they have GFCIs out there. <laughs> out, probably out in the ad. <laughs> yeah, there All you right. go. He says it trips every time he uses a Tom. Mm. And Jeffrey writes, it is in the upstairs guest bath of my modular home and is a lone outlet on that GFCI breaker. But anytime I plug anything into it, he says, the breaker trips. I tested the wiring with my plug. It's one of those three light testers. Yep. And it's wired correctly. I installed a new GFCI 20 amp outlet and it still tripped the breaker. So Jeffrey wants to know, how do I track down this problem call an electrician okay so this, <laughs> this is beyond this is beyond the handyman yourself. fun okay. stuff because right. i would have said just just change the 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 outlet and, and he you did. would be fine but he did and he says he did it right and he tested it with the little three-prong mm -hmm. thing which is fine that's perfect to do but i bet you it's something in the breaker box and i can't tell you what it is but when it goes to the breaker box that's when you have to call in. It says no user serviceable parts <laughs> yes. inside, and yeah. it could be it could be the breaker in the breaker box. But I don't I don't want to tell him how to change it, even though I know how to. Uh, you're going to need to call an electrician. They need to troubleshoot this thing because it's giving you the warning sign, and that's why it's there is to protect you. So please don't just keep sticking your finger in it to see if it's wet. No, don't. <laughs> this is one case you don't do that. Yes, right. But what you should do is if you need help, you go ahead and send us your question. Visit homeshowradio.com and click on that Ask Tom button. Fill it out. Send it in. We'll Ding. answer it just like these videos over here.